open google chrome and type download mysql in google chrome and we can see in the first link mysql downloads click on that so there will be different option or different tabs mysql.com downloads and all click on downloads so when we come down we can see there are different editions one is enterprise edition then the cluster then we need to download the community version which is free version so click on community downloads click on that and here we can see a lot of things we don't want to download everything we can go for the last one mysql installer for windows click on that so here we can see two options the first one we can download by using the internet the second one offline we can do that so the first one is having only 2.4 mb the second one is 428 so first one we can download first one if you have good internet connection no thanks just start my download so now everything is going to be done with the help of internet so click on this drop arrow click on open yeah now we can see the installer is getting opened okay so here we need to select the custom one so we can see which all things we are downloading click on next okay here click on that plus icon and the latest version is 8.0.33 so click on that and click on the dean arrow so we are going to install that and we are going to install one more thing the workbench click on the plus one and the same version you need to select 8.0.33 click on the arrow so as of now we are installing only these two things the server and workbench we are not installing any connector or shell we can as of now we need only these two things so click on next so it is ready to download so click on execute now in the progress bar we can see the percentage so it is downloading now it will take two minutes so once the download is completed yeah the workbench download is completed now and the server download okay it is also going to get completed yeah 100 percent now so the two are downloaded click on next now we need to install them so click on execute again uh, so this is ready to be installed click on execute so the installation is happening now this will also take around one minute or so now the installation is progressing yeah the server installation is completed now the workbench installation is going on and yeah both of them are completed now click on next uh, it is ready to configure click on next yeah here we can keep these things as like that itself and remember the port number port number is 3306 remember that okay so this is our default port number click on next and here we can select the first option which is the recommended one for authentication click on next and this is the most important part you need to remember this root password always okay this sh you should give a password and you should remember that write it somewhere or note it somewhere because this password is very very important so i am giving my default password um yeah so that's done and we can click on next so these things also we can keep it like that the SQL will start when the system starts all these things you can keep like that and click on next yes grant full access to user um you can click on next yeah these are the configuration steps if you click on execute we can see one by one everything is done starting the server yeah so everything is done now sql is successful and click on finish and the configuration part is completed we can click on next yeah we can start the workbench now click on finish and here we can see the workbench we have downloaded the workbench now um and if you want to connect to the local instance click on that click on it then they will be asking the password see we need to remember the password so write the password and if you want you can save that in the vault so i am going to save that so click on the checkbox and click on ok 
yep so if the window is ready now we can write the queries sql queries we can see the databases we can see everything here so here when we click on schemas we can see there is only one system system schema is there tables and all if you want to create our own schema write the keyword create database and i'm going to create smart okay then put a semicolon and click on that lightning arrow so we can see in the console the database smart is created refresh the schema see smart database is created now so if you want we can create tables we can work on that so all these things we can do in the next video